The former All-Pro safety T.J. Ward has been cut by the Denver Broncos, and not only that, the Indianapolis Colts have traded away Philip Dorsett to the New England Patriots for Jacoby Brissett. To start off with T.J. Ward, T.J. Ward is definitely a hard-hitting safety. He doesn't really get the interceptions that you would want from a playmaking safety, but overall he still provides some value there, and he also has some decent coverage skills. I definitely think that the Saints should look at him. I also think that the Panthers should look at him. Also, I think the Cowboys would be a good team to look at. And I just look at that and think to myself that TJ Ward should definitely find a new home soon. Now, a lot of people say that he has more of a locker room presence, which would be really nice because the Saints need that locker room presence right there because I don't know what locker room personality that they have on the defensive side. So I think that would be a good way to balance it out right there. Now, when it comes to to Ward, I think his interceptions numbers are going to be low, but usually when it comes to the Saints at that strong safety position, you don't really need a guy to really get interceptions. It's more of the free safety's job to kind of do a little bit more of a, kind of their free range to roll around there. Now, when it comes to the Dorsett trade, I feel like Dorsett was definitely a guy that was very questionable first round pick. I definitely thought he should have been a first rounder. And he's really just a scrubby deep threat who struggles to stay on the field. Whenever you see him play, he's usually out there for one play that's just really, really long. That's it. That's really what he is. And he has some return ability just because he's kind of fast. Is he a slot receiver? No, not really. And when it comes to New England, how they're going to use him, I heard they might use him as a returner. I really feel that he might be used as more of a scrubby deep threat at times, too. I think that would be something. They're not going to put him in the slot. I think they would rather put Cooks in the slot. And I think that Philip Dorsett is going to more emulate what Dante Stallworth was to the 2007 uh, New England Patriots. So when it comes to this, it comes to Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett apparently won player of the week uh, for the fourth week of the preseason, which is, seems pretty good. And he looked pretty good out there, but it's preseason, and his accuracy was a little bit questionable. He also had one really bad pick in the beginning. But when I look at this, I think that Jacoby Brissett, he might be better than Scott Tolzai. And I'm not a big Scott Tolzai guy. I remember seeing him going. He doesn't really provide anything. Now, the concern about Jacoby Brissett is I'm not sure if he runs a total NFL offense. I really look at him and think to myself that when I saw him against Houston, they were running a college offense. And when they ran him against uh, Buffalo, that they were running a college offense up there. But he could do all the play action stuff, which the Colts love to do. They love running play action. And I just look at it and think to myself, he fits their system on how they want to do things. It's just... It's going to look very college-esque in the beginning. And it looks as if that maybe Frank Gore would be some player that he might get a lot of carries. And he's kind of an older running back. And the Colts, they're not a team I'm really favorited to win the AFC at all. Or the AFC South to be Pacific. Just because I think it's the Titans and the Texans running that division. And maybe the Jaguars can split with the Colts here and there. I mean, the Jack Bears are kind of crap, but other than that, though, they could possibly slip, split. Now, when it comes to this, I definitely think the trade, uh, who won this trade, I guess, it's not really that big of a deal. It's not between Richardson and Curse or Isaiah Thomas to Kyrie Irving mentioning another sport. I just think uh, to myself that this is basically you're trading a backup for a backup. Nothing really big, nothing really special, no draft picks for a involved but i'm going to ask you who won this trade and who do you think tj ward's going to go to also i've made videos on why richard sherman would be traded and i think this is quite uh, relatable to the subject because there's been a lot of trades in the nfl i just reported on sheldon uh, richardson being traded to the seahawks for jermaine curse and a, a couple draft picks here and there so i i look at that and there's a lot more kind of this it's emulating the NBA almost. The NFL is becoming the NBA with these trades because it feels as if there's too many powerhouses in this league or the powerhouse have too much power in this league. They just win way too much. A lot of people aren't happy with the idea of teams that get the buy and are going to automatically get to the Super Bowl. And not only the buy, for the most part, who are the first seed. The only first seed that hasn't gone to the Super Bowl in the past four years is the Dallas Cowboys. That's the 
only one. So I talked about that a little bit in the video about why Richard Sherman could be traded because he was rumored to be traded on the trading block. And I just look at that and think to myself, yeah, I think that's a pretty reliable thing. I've also talked about why the AFC, AFC South might eventually become good one day simply because about how bad they are and going up there. And that's something that I really um, talked about. And also, I, I look at this and I usually um, upload daily videos every day. So just remember to subscribe. All right, guys. Check you out next time. Peace.